this video I'm going to explain how to play Townstar as well as the basics of the game, mechanics on how the game works, the goal of the game and explaining how to get started. I highly recommend you watch this video before watching any of my town build guide videos as those will assume you already know the basics and mechanics on how to play Townstar. In order to play Townstar you must first create an account with Gala Games. All you have to do is go to app.gala.games and click register to create an account. Fill in all this information and in the spot that says referral code feel free to use my referral code which you can copy in the description of this video. After you go through the entire registration process you may have to log in if you aren't logged in automatically. If you receive an error message just try logging in because your account might have already been created. You'll be prompted to accept the terms of service and then set up two-factor authentication. I highly recommend setting up two-factor authentication as a security measure to protect your account. After getting that done, you can click on games and scroll down until you see Townstar and click play to launch the game. This is a browser game so the game will only run while you have the window up. If you want to do something else while the game is running, you can open up a new window but make sure it's not covering the entire screen. If you're running multiple monitors, you could also just move the game to another monitor. Townstar should be loading. If it ever gets stuck loading at a certain percentage, such as 60%, I recommend going back to app.gala.games, then click games and launch Townstar from there again, and that usually resolves the issue. If the game gets stuck at 0%, you may have to close the window out and open a new window repeating the same process mentioned before to launch the game again. When the game loads for the first time, you should be prompted to select a server. There are various servers, so let me explain how they each work. The play to earn servers are the general servers people play on. They only offer earnings in regards to placing town point earning NFTs and completing the daily challenge and claiming a town point reward, which gets you your share of town cryptocurrency the following day. In fact, all servers are capable of doing this, so no matter which server you decide to play on, you will be allowed to place and earn from your town point earning NFTs after completing the daily challenge. For more information on play to earn mechanics, see my video called how to earn town. The competition server hosts rewards for the top ranking players in the leaderboard. These rewards are USD equivalent rewards paid out as Gala cryptocurrency. The reward structure is always subject to change, but you can find the most recent reward structure in the Gala Games Discord or on a resource I created called the Town Star Playbook. I'll leave links to the Gala Games Discord and to the Town Star Playbook in the description. Note that the competition server is not always available, it will only be available at certain times, and this information is announced beforehand on the Gala Games Discord. The competition server is, of course, very competitive. Players who seriously participate in the competition usually play for many hours in order to develop their town and use strategies they have practiced over time. They will also leave their computer running the entire time, so if you aren't willing to do that, you won't be able to get far in the competition. The development server is meant to test new game background processes, such as cheat detection and possibly new mechanics added to the game in the future. I do not recommend starting a town in this server as you will most likely be playing in an unstable version of the game and can run into bugs or issues while playing. If you're new to Townstar, I recommend just sticking to the play to earn servers. They are currently numbered 1 to 5, any of which are fine. After selecting your server and clicking play now, since you haven't started a town you'll probably see the world map. 
you'll be able to look around and select the location you want to start your town on. There are a number of variables you want to keep in mind before selecting a location to start your town on. These variables are how far you are from the city, what biome you select, and what biomes are adjacent to your city. A city is where you'll sell your goods to, like this city right here. So the closer you are to a city, the faster you will sell your goods, and the less gasoline you'll use per trip. If you select a tile that is far from any city, you might be using more than one gasoline per sale, which makes progressing through your town much harder. So you definitely want to be close enough to a city to use only one gasoline per cell. You can place your town in these three biomes, forest, plains, and desert. And there are three other biomes that you can't place your town on, but they will offer some kind of effect if it's adjacent to your town. Those are river, ocean, and mountain biomes. For more information on how biomes work, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of each biome, see my video called Biomes. Also, if you find an empty spot that is in fact a forest, plains, or desert biome, but it doesn't let you start a town there, it might be because it's in a spot that would not have access to sell to a city. This usually happens in islands that have no cities within them to deliver to. In those situations, you would want to be next to the ocean to sell your goods overseas via a trade pier. Or just find another location where you can deliver to a city through ground transportation. So once you found the location that seems good, you can start your town and give it a name. The first thing you should probably do is click on your trade depot right here and it'll show you how long it takes to sell to the nearest city and how much gasoline it's going to use. As long as you're using only one gasoline per sale, you should be fine. As for the goal of the game, allow me to quote what Gala Games has on their Townstar website. Produce and craft goods. Then sell them to cities for money to continue building and growing. Win by earning the most stars throughout the competition. Stars are awarded with every sale of goods. Essentially, you want to sell items to get money, as well as some stars. And you use that money in order to progress your town and start developing higher tier items that are more complicated to make but award much more money and many more stars, which will help you rise in the leaderboards. Just remember that the leaderboards is really only important in the competition server, since the play to earn servers and the development server don't offer any rewards for being in the top position on the leaderboards, unless specified by Gala. So you're finally ready to play, but where do you start? It may seem overwhelming at first. If you're new to the game, you will receive hints on what to do. A good idea in most cases is to immediately build a windmill in a specific spot where there's no shade from other buildings. Click an empty tile and you'll have two circle shaped buttons appear at the bottom right corner of your screen. Click on the shop button to open up the shop. Make sure you're on the farm tab and scroll down until you find the windmill. Note that if the windmill is grayed out, you may be missing a requirement. The windmill requires a road to be next to it, otherwise it will not operate and it won't let you build it. After purchasing the windmill, you will have to wait until the builder finishes building it. This is the builder. Their only job is to build anything you purchase. They will go to the relevant building to get the materials they need and bring them to the construction site where the build is taking place.
once all the materials have been added, there will be a timer to complete the build process. After the timer is complete, click on the object to finish building it. Once this windmill is built, click on it and start producing flour, which is crafted by using two wheat and one wood. The miller will go to the nearest silo to collect wheat and bring it back, and also go to the nearest wood storage to collect wood and bring it back. Once it has all the materials it needs, it'll begin producing flour. If there's no shade affecting the windmill, it'll craft products quickly with a green timer. Otherwise, if it has a yellow or red timer, it'll craft items slowly because there's shade affecting it. It is very important to understand how proximity effects work and it can make the difference between a fast and successful town or a slow and unprofitable town. For more information on how proximity effects work, see my video called Proximity Effects. Before you get your first batch of 10 flour, you will need to build a lumberjack house, which will allow you to have a lumberjack collecting wood and putting it into the woodshed. If you're playing in the forest or plains biome, trees are already provided in the town. If you're playing in the desert biome, no trees are provided and you'll have to purchase tree farms and supply them with enough water so they may grow. As for the wheat, your town starts with a farmer house, some wheat fields, a well, and at least one pond. The farmer will collect the wheat and store it in the silo. If a crop requires more water, the farmer will go to a well and fetch water to manually supply it to a crop. The most efficient strategy would be to have enough ponds to supply enough passive water for your crops and to place more crops in areas where they'll have enough water to grow. And as for the roads, they serve as a requirement to place most objects, but they also increase the movement speed of the workers that walk through the road, increasing efficiency. As soon as you get to 10 flower, click on your trade depot and click on the flower icon and sell to the nearest city to you which also uses the least amount of gasoline compared to the other cities. Each time you make a sale with the trade depot or the trade pier you will use gasoline. As you can see the town starts with a fuel storage that will have 40 gasoline to start with. It is very important that you progress your town until you reach gasoline production. If you run out of gasoline and you don't have enough money to make it to gasoline production, your town will go broke and it will be impossible to move forward as you won't have enough money to pay your workers wages to be able to continue. As you can see on the left of your screen, this is the total amount of money you are paying your workers every single minute. You will have to balance this element throughout the game, making sure your town is profiting enough to continue to progress. If you want to see the leaderboards, click on the button at the top right corner of your screen. It should show you where you rank on the leaderboards. You might have to scroll a little. You're also free to scroll up or down to view where others rank, or you can click the buttons at the top top 10 or bottom 10, filter it that way. Just a reminder, the only server the leaderboard rankings really matter is the competition server, 
you typically won't get prizes for high ranks in any other servers unless specified by Gala. I will be creating many build guides on how to progress through your town and show you how to get to gasoline production in different situations and then show you how to improve your build and advance to selling high tier items for more cash and stars. Be on the lookout for those guides. I will periodically edit the description of this video and link the beginning of any new build guides I create. That is all for my how to play town star video. I hope this information was able to help you. Feel free to like the video and leave a comment with your feedback. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing future content I create. And I really do hope you enjoy playing Townstar. Thank you for watching.